this module talks about calculating the confidence interval estimate for single proportion. Many questions to the researchers relate to the population proportion. For example, they want to measure that what proportion of patients who received a particular type of treatment recover. They may be interested in knowing that what proportion of population has certain disease or their interest could be that what proportion of population is immune to a certain disease. In these type of cases, our goal is to estimate population proportion. So we proceed in the same manner as when estimating a population mean. A sample is drawn from the population of interest and the sample proportion P cap is calculated as a point estimator for the population proportion that is denoted by pi. An expression for the confidence interval can be obtained by the estimator plus minus reliability factor multiplied by the standard error of the estimate. As we are aware that as both NP, which are the parameters of the binomial distribution, and N1 minus P are greater than 5, we may consider the sampling distribution of P hat to be quite close to normal probability distribution. Whereas the exact distribution for this case would be binomial distribution. But here, if NP or N1 minus P would be greater than 5, it approximates to the normal distribution. Hence, we, we assume that it's quite close to the normal probability distribution and we use it in, that, in this case. So when this condition is met, our reliability factor is some value of Z from the standard normal distribution. Hence, 100 into 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval estimate for population proportion pi can be obtained by the given expression where p hat is estimator and square root of p hat into 1 minus p hat divided by n is the standard error of estimate and z 1 minus alpha by 2 is the reliability factor that is obtained from the standard normal distribution here in this case. Let's take an example. The Pew Internet and American Life Project reported in 2003 that 18% of the internet users have used it to search for information regarding experimental treatments or medicines. The sample consisted of 1,220 adult internet users. And information was collected from telephonic interviews. We wish to construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of internet users in the sampled population who have searched for information on experimental treatment or medication. Since here we are using 95% confidence interval and we are already aware that reliability factor should be calculated from, from the standard normal distribution. So we are using this table where we look, look up for 0 0.9750 area and for 95% confidence level, the Z alpha by 2 is 1.96. Using this value as a reliability factor and the given information that the sample size is 1,220 and proportion, sample proportion to be equals to 18% and here P will be 0 0.18. We calculate NP and it turned out to be 219.6, which is certainly greater than 5. And as this condition holds true, we can say that we can uh, we can clearly approximate it to the standard normal probability distribution. And using all these values and substituting into the formula for the confidence interval, we get that 0 0.18 plus minus 1.96, that is the reliability factor, and the standard error calculated is 0 0.0110. It gives us two values, the lower confidence limit, which is 0 0.158, and the upper confidence limit, which is 2.2. Using these values, we are 95% confident that the population proportion P is between 0 0.158, that is lower confidence limit, and 0 0.202, that is upper confidence limit. Because in repeated sample, about 95% of the interval constructed in the manner of the present single interval would include the true value of P. On the basis of these results, 
we would expect with 95% confident to find somewhere between 15.8% and 20.2% of adult internet users to have used it for information on medicine or experiment treatment. Confidence interval estimate can also be used for testing the significance of population proportion. Thank you.